Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at a set of DX Transformer Gum model kits from Kabaya, as you can see up here in the top corner. Uh, this set has Overlord, Blacker, and then Laster and Braver. So we have the three Autobot Brain Masters, and as you can see they do form Road Caesar, which is very cool. And then over here we have Overlord from Master Force. So I'm really excited about this set. I've always wanted some kind of toy for the Brave Masters, and obviously being exclusive to Victory and exclusive to Japan, those original G1 toys are crazy expensive, and they're also not very good. They have, like, no articulation whatsoever. Um, so these model kit versions, I think, might be really, really cool. But you can see here, uh, they even have a base mode for Overlord, which I'm really impressed about. That's really cool. He each has uh, two Power Masters as well. Very similar to uh, Hydra and Buster. So that's very cool. So I'm really excited for these. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. So here is Blacker. I think he's the leader of the Brain Masters. And then you can see here's Road Caesar here. The three of them uh, go together. So he is himself and then all of, like the connector pieces. That's why he's in one box by himself. And then over here we have Laster and Braver together. Because they don't really have many accessories. But I'm super pumped. I think this is going to be a really fun build, and I'm going to be really excited to have these figures all together when I am done. I'm kind of collecting... Most of the stuff that I'm collecting from the Kabaya model kits happens to be, like, the later uh, G1, like, Japanese exclusive stuff. You know, Star Convoy, Master Force, um, uh, Victory, obviously. So that's where most of the stuff that I... That's kind of the more recent stuff. I'm trying to get a hold of... Uh, Victory Saber, uh, which is uh, Star Saber and Victory Leo as well. I do have um, Jinrai and God Bomber as well to put together at some point. So I'm having a lot of fun with these. I'm really excited. I'm going to go ahead, get these open, put together, all stickered up, and then we'll take a closer look. All right, so we're going to start with Overlord. As you can see, we have the two pieces here, the jet and the tank. We do have super tiny little Power Masters for Giga and Mega, which I think are really, really cool. We'll try to get in close enough here that you can see this detail. Um, the one with the black legs is supposed to be uh, Lord Giga, and then the one with the white legs is supposed to be Mega. So, again, detailing, very tiny, but they did a good job with the Power Masters, and of course, they do transform by having the legs swing around like so which i think is really really cool you sometimes have to like transforming them back and forth causes the legs to kind of fall out so you just have to push them back in i wish they stayed in a little better but they probably if they were too snug you wouldn't be able to transform it so it's kind of a trade-off and then over here we have uh, mega as you can see And then she transforms like so. Now, I don't know what it is, but it seems like her legs don't quite fit. Like, you can see how it almost looks like they should be a little bit longer because they don't kind of sit flush against the body. Like, this little piece right here should be a little bit longer. I don't know. Whoops. But, still pretty cool. I love the fact that these actually come with tiny little Power Masters. It's a really, really... <laughs> Uh, nice addition to this model kit, which I, again, just like with Hydra and Buster, I really wasn't expecting that. Now, they do have little cockpits. You can see here, here is the tank for uh, Lord Giga. You have a little bit of movement here in the turret. Uh, you do have a little canopy where you can put the character, and then you also, you can kind of, you know, detransform them back into human mood, and then they can fit inside there and close that up. This one, I don't know, it doesn't close all the way sometimes it's okay sometimes it's not but then as you can see uh, you also have transform them and then you can fit them in here just like you would with any power master now the funny thing is when you transform them actually into overlord it's going to go the two power masters are going to go in his chest so they're not even going to stay here but they do have a spot where he can connect while in tank mode and then when you actually transform them he will go somewhere else. So I'm going to take him out for now, but that's cool. Uh, otherwise, all this is stickers here. All the blue, the purple is stickers. Uh, right here, obviously, on both sides is stickers. Same on this side. Otherwise, not too many stickers on this guy. Not too bad. The tank turret cannot spin. 
So just have this tank with these giant legs on the side. He does have tank turrets molded under here, but they kind of get lost with the big foot on the side. Uh, and then over here for the uh, jet for Mega, does have an opening canopy so that once again you can store the Power Master inside. Sometimes I really have trouble. There we go. So you can put them right in there, no problem whatsoever. You can take Mega and peg her in here. For whatever reason, though, it's a really tight fit. Oh, there it goes. Okay. The, <laughs> when I was first putting this together, I had a really hard time getting her to fit in there. But now it seems to be a little bit better. So also very cool there. There we go. Uh, and then, of course, you can see a little bit of the robot mode underneath. This is the chest where the two Power Masters are going to go in robot mode. There's this little car for the base mode, and we'll get to the base mode in a minute. Um, but that just stores under there, as well as these little radar dishes. They just store in the fists. But uh, yeah, otherwise, the, uh, the two vehicle modes, not a lot of articulation or anything in these modes. They just kind of exist, but they both look good. They both have somewhere to store the Power Master, and they both have a connection point, so I can't complain. Uh, sure, it would be great if the turret could move a little bit, but at least the gun can move a little up and down, so you get a little something. And then really for the jet, I don't know what I would need. I mean, it's a jet, so it just kind of flies around. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> you can see the gun here on the side for storage. Um, wings move a little bit, I guess. And you can see the stickers around. Not too bad with the stickers. Yeah. So, vehicle mode I think looks really cool. Um, I guess first I'll show you the base mode before we get to the robot. Alright, so the base mode is really neat, but unfortunately it doesn't stay together that well. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove these panels from the side here that just peg on, and that's a little bit easier said than done. Unfortunately, they're a little snug, but then you can see they pop off eventually. Just kind of have to wiggle them a little bit. And you can see this is going to come apart as well, <laughs> so you can go ahead and do that if it happens naturally while you're trying to get these off. Come on. I don't want to apply too much pressure because I really don't want to break any of these pegs. There we go. Okay. So you're going to take each half. This is going to flip around, and then this is going to flip around as well. Yeah, why doesn't it? There we go. So that just flips out like that. You're going to do the same. You can take this off. You're going to flip these around as well. This one actually has a little, uh, like, arm in here, which sometimes is a little difficult to get out. Come on now. There we go. So it has this little, like, grappler, grabber arm type thing, which is kind of cool. So you're going to take these, leave these like this. You're going to take the front part here of the jet and disconnect that. There we go. You can go ahead and take this off as well. You're going to take the arms and fold them straight up like this, and that's why you can leave the little satellite dishes in the hands. Um, and then I guess fold these back. Or I guess, could you fold them forward? I guess it doesn't really matter which way you fold them. I'll fold them back. Uh, right here, this is going to open up like so, and then you can see there's actually a little ramp inside here that we're going to pop out. It's a little difficult to get this out, but there we go. So, there is a tab right there, which is going to tab in right there, but for whatever reason, it doesn't like to stay. Like, as soon as I tab it in, it just pops right back out, so it's not really that great. Uh, the other thing is very similar here. You can see there's a little clip right there, and that's going to tab into this. And again, unfortunately, this one stays better, but still not that great. But these are going to peg in like so. Actually, I might have these backwards. I think this actually goes like this because these uh, connector ports are supposed to be towards the back but yeah it doesn't really stay all that great and it's kind of a shame I think it's just because it's like too tight I don't know I really don't know why it doesn't stay pegged in better it doesn't there's not really any logical reason why they shouldn't peg in um, this is going to kind of sit here, and again, these don't really peg all that great. They kind of just like loosely rest on top, but there you go. That does that, and of course this came unpegged. I'm just going to kind of rest them. I'm not going to go nuts with this. Uh, this piece, you can take the little car off, and that goes like this. This pegs onto here. You can see the tab. That pegs on there, and then of course that's all going to fall apart. 
Yeah, I wish this was just a little bit better, more solid connection. Unfortunately, it's just not. And again, I really don't know why. I mean, maybe I could sand the clip down a little bit so that it just kind of sat in there more. It wasn't such a tight connection, because it really doesn't need to be. And then you can just kind of rest this one on there. And then you have the little car. There's actually a little turntable in here. <laughs> if I can get closer without this whole thing falling apart. Which is doubtful. Uh, but there's a little wheel here you can spin, and that moves this little turntable on the center. This little red turntable right there. And I know that's kind of hard to see, but you can see that it, it does spin it. Um, so if I can get this all back together... So yeah, it's a shame, because from the picture on the back of the box, the little base looks really impressive. Um, but it just doesn't stay together. I feel like you probably could maybe sand this down just a little bit, just so it's not such a tight connection. And then maybe it would just kind of drop in. Because like right now it fits, but as soon as you push it in, it just naturally wants to pop right back out. And I don't really understand why that is. I think it's just because it's like too tight of a connection. I don't know. It's really strange to me. I don't know why it does this, but if I can get this to pretend to stay together for a second, uh, you can take these. Let's see, where do they want me to put these? I think one of these you just kind of peg onto the side here. One of these guns. I don't really remember. You can really kind of just put the guns wherever they fit. It's not really that important. Uh, let's see, where did they put... Actually, I think I think this littler gun pegged on here. And then I think this pegged on the back of here like that. Really, you can customize it however you want. But So if I can get this to just kind of sit here like this and like that, just loosely. Again, not very stable, but at least you can see what we're going for. And I'll try to move this over so it's actually in frame. But it's, I mean, it's a nice big base, which is pretty impressive for this little model kit. I can't really complain about the size. And of course, you can pose the, uh, oop, as I break his leg off, you can pose the little Power Masters around the base, which is pretty cool. They're very, very tiny. You can actually uh, take one of the Power Masters and put them into this car. You can see here, this will actually, I don't remember this car from the show or all, anything, but I didn't have the original Overlord, so maybe that did exist. But there you go. I mean, like I said, in context of the little figures, it's a really nice size base. Like, I can't really complain. Uh, I just wish the ramps pegged in better. It's my only complaint. As long If the ramps were really nice and solid, this would be a 100% perfect base. And I'd love it. I even love the inclusion of the little grabber claw. I think that's a nice little touch. And it's really a good size. Um, it's just a shame that it doesn't really hold together all that well. But you can pose it like this. And it, you know, just to put it on a shelf or something, it'll stay fairly well. And you can always put it back together. It's a nice thing. It's not like it's breaking. You just kind of have to re-peg it back in. All right, going into the robot mode, I'm going to take the little car, the ramps, all that stuff, and put it off to the side. Actually, I guess we can put, let's put the ramp back in. What you do is you take this section and you just kind of, you can see there's like a little hole back here and you just slide it in there. And then as you push that up, uh, you can close these sections and it'll hide it in there. Now see, for whatever reason, this one pegged in really nice. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and take these little satellite dishes out of his hands. And unfortunately, there's no great place to store them in the robot mode. But you're going to see we're going to just turn them around and we've already got most of our torso here. Going to go ahead and take this off. Uh, open up the torso here. These little flaps. And then you're going to put the two Power Masters into his pectoral muscles. Peg that one in. And push this one in. There we go. So there are the two Power Masters in there. Uh, you're going to take the legs, push this piece. <laughs> Everything's popping off now. Uh, but again, you just push it right back in. It's no problem. Uh, then you're going to close this up. You're going to close this up. And then this is going to be the leg. So what we're going to do is you can see the connection ports here. 
I believe this will be the right leg. So you're going to want to take this and you're going to line up these connectors here and then you're just going to peg this on just like so. Do the same thing with the other leg. Close that up. Peg that on like so. Then you're going to connect that and connect that. Assuming you don't accidentally unpeg anything, which apparently I'm doing. There we go. So there are your legs. Now, unfortunately, these flaps do kind of get in the way of the arm articulation, which is a bummer. But you take this piece, you're going to peg it on right there into that peg hole. So that just pegs on like so. And then you're going to take your gun and peg that into his hand like so. If you want, you can take this gun and peg it over here just for storage. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, you do have the little car piece and you have the two little satellite dishes that I don't know of a great place to store them. I guess you could just peg this on the back here if you wanted. Nothing to stop you from doing that. Um, as far as the satellite dishes go, maybe I could store them in the one that doesn't have the grabber claw. Do we think that would fit? Here, let me take this off temporarily. I guess I'm going to have to unpeg this first. When these things peg on, they really stay on. All right, let's go ahead and see. Will this fit? Oh, that might. That might just work. Uh, maybe. Let me see if I put that one down the end. Is that deeper down there? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, no, not quite. I feel like it almost works. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't quite work, but I'm going to go ahead and get this leg pegged back on. Okay, so one good thing to come out of trying to store those in the leg, I realized I had the legs pegged onto the wrong section. You don't peg them onto the back here where the treads are, you peg them onto the front over in this side. So now I have the legs all connected correctly, much better. Uh, but yeah, he looks great. I mean, he definitely looks like Overlord. Can't complain there. Um, Articulation-wise, if you move the flap, you can get the arm to move pretty much 360. No problems there, but it is one solid piece. Uh, otherwise, you have a little bit of a swivel there in the hip. You have a thigh swivel just because that's where it pegs on and everything else is a solid piece. So he's not really a master of articulation, but it's a little model kit, what do you want? It actually has the tank and jet mode, the base mode, and the robot mode. And they have all the spots for the uh, power masters to connect. Now I guess technically, you could close these most of the way up if you really wanted to, uh, to get full rotation of the arms. Or you could just kind of not close them all the way, so they're kind of like at a 45 degree angle, something like that give you a little bit more um, it's up to you it's really however you want to pose it but I kind of like it like this because then I feel like it blends into the arms so that it's not so noticeable yes it kind of hinders your articulation but I think it still looks great I think they did a great job with this I'm really impressed I'm just a big fan of the overlord design in general so I like that they have the guns and the missiles and everything molded into the chest I love that the power masters actually peg in there the face actually looks good. That's just one big sticker on a piece of gray uh, plastic that you push in there and it fits. So really well done. I really like this. I think they did a great job with this and uh, I'm really impressed. Definitely worthy of the DX title for this guy. I would say now if you think to the fact that um, Fort Max was three of these and this is only one, I feel like for being one box, pretty detailed. Pretty well done and definitely has a lot of nice features so I love them all right I'm just gonna do the last two boxes together because it's the three brain masters these guys were in victory there are three brain masters blacker braver and laster and they do have a combination all together to form road Caesar which is very cool but the gimmick with the brain masters is that they have a small robot inside very similar to like the Headmasters or the Power Masters, something like that. I mean, obviously they were continuing with these Master gimmicks even after the U.S. series ended. 
So if I can get this open, and these are very difficult to get open, I'll be honest. Um, I don't know why <laughs> they're so difficult. The problem is you really have to like get a fingernail or something in there to kind of get these open, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. There we go. So there is a little spot in here to put the little character and how this works. Um, they come with a tiny brain master and how these work. They are a super tiny little character. I can't even really see like the detail in the head, but it's there. Um, they kind of look like power masters from the back, but they don't transform. And how the brain masters work on the show, obviously they could ride here in the cockpit. So you can just kind of put them in there. It's not really that great, but if I can swivel him around, it's supposed to be like that. And then you can close this back up. I'm not going to close it again because of how difficult it was to open it, but I'll close it once I take them out. So there you go. So how this works, uh, when you transform him, you would open it up and the brain masher would go into the chest. Now in the original toy, that would cause, the basically the face was inside the chest and you would open it up, you would put the brain master in and then as you closed it, it would basically cause the face to rise into the, the helmet. So if you think of the red part as the helmet and the gray part as the face, when you put the brain master into the chest, it would cause the face to pop up into the helmet to complete the transformation. Now, obviously these don't do that. They're candy toys, model kits, you know, that's a bit, that's a bit much of an ask. Uh, so that's not going to happen here, but they do have a spot where you can put the brain master in the chest just to signify that, which I think is, you know, more than I would expect from a candy toy as it is. Um, as far as I can tell, all three of the Brain Masters are the same. Uh, for whatever reason, Blacker and Braver are both red. You'd think that they would do them in three different colors, but these two are the same. And then you have uh, Laster and Yellow. And again, I think they're just the same mold because they're so tiny, they didn't bother to make different details, and that's perfectly fine, I understand. But basically how this works, we'll do one of these transformations. Um, these two transform pretty much exactly the same, but with blacker you have to kind of take the legs off. And basically there is a big peg inside there as you can see, and that pegs into one of these holes. So for the transformation in car mode, I think you want that to go all the way in the topmost one. For robot mode, you're going to want to go in the bottommost one. So you just pop that in there. Go ahead and do the same with this. Then you flip it around, you pop this down, put the Brain Master inside, and all you have to do is kind of wedge him in there. Now again, it doesn't matter, you don't have to put him in there, it doesn't affect any of the rest of the transformation. It's just to kind of be reminiscent of the original toy. And then you just kind of fold these flaps back. Oop, the arm is freaking out, that's for the transformation later. And then you just flip this down, that's really all there is to it. And there he is. I think they did a nice job with the detailing. Uh, the blue of the stickers really pops with the black and the red. I think that looks really great. Uh, now he has some funky arm stuff going on. And again, that's for, because he's the torso of Road Caesar. But you do basically have this articulation. Uh, you do have a little bit out to the side because of that articulation. The others don't have that. Only he does. But you get some out to the side, which is kind of nice. Uh, the head can kind of move from side to side, but it is tied to this piece. So if he looks side to side, he moves the whole piece back there. Uh, you have a swivel here in the hip, and then really nothing in the leg. So he doesn't have a ton of articulation, but he looks good. I like him. Uh, next up, we'll do Braver. Braver's transformation and laster are very simple. You don't have to unpeg the leg at all. You just swivel them around and make sure that they're pegged in all the way. Uh, they're going to have tiny little uh, heels that pop out. So if you can kind of pull these away from each other. And then pop these heels down. And these just peg in from the side. So if they ever fall off, you can easily just peg them right back in. Sometimes as you rotate them, they come unpegged. And then this literally just flips down. And then that's it. Then you move the arms up. And the sad thing is, this is not much less articulation than the original Japanese toys had for these characters. Flip this open and peg the Brain Master in. I think with the original toys, because the Brain Master gimmick took up so much of the chest they couldn't really have much other articulation in the figure. Oh, these definitely don't always sit in that nice sometimes. There we go. Wedge that in. 
close them up. So there we go. There is Braver. And again, stickers look great. They really weren't that difficult to apply. There are a lot of them, but they stuck on very nicely. Not really a problem. I liked them. Now with the heels, sometimes I feel like you have to kind of overcompensate to get them. There we go. Okay, and then I really like the look of Laster. I like the car that he is. I think he's a Lambo. Um, very cool. So we're going to go ahead, flip the legs around like so. Make sure that they're pegged in. Flip those heels out. There we go. Flip this back. And then you can move the arms forward. And then again, we're going to open the chest and place the Brain Master inside. There we go. And then close up. So here are the three Brain Masters. And then this is just kind of uh, combination parts for uh, Road Caesar. So they don't actually have any like accessories on their own. But if you want to, like these, this is a gun, this is a sword, and this is just kind of putting them all together to make kind of like a, it almost just looks like a surfboard or some kind of flying wing or something. But I'm just going to take these apart because they're really, it's just storage for these extra pieces that you need for the combination. So if you want to go ahead and, and give Blacker the sword, we can do that. If you want to give, this is kind of a gun, I could give this to Braver possibly. Um, no, it doesn't really peg in all that well. What about Laster? Hmm, pegs in a little better for Laster. But all of these look fantastic. Like I said, they're very basic in articulation. They really just have the swivel of the arm, the swivel in the hip, and then I guess you have a little bit of a rotation in the knee, but it's really the transformation. Um... But they look great. I mean, like I said, the original toys didn't have a ton of articulation either. And I don't have any representation of the original toys because they're, like I said, crazy rare because they were only in Japan. They were never released here. Um, I think trying to get one complete with the Brain Master and everything would be very expensive as well. And again, to hunt them down, I feel like I bought, I probably bought the three of these for maybe the whole model kit was 15, 20 bucks. I think honestly for the, these, like, cause it was a three pack I got on Mandarake. It was these, I think it was these two came in a box. He came with the pieces for a road Caesar and then overlord was one box. And I want to say it was like maybe 20 bucks for the three, for the three boxes. <laughs> so these are great little representations of these characters, certainly more cost effective than trying to track down the original toy. And at the end of the day, I'd love to see someone compare the two because the articulation is probably about the same. So this is definitely a viable alternative. But Takara, Hasbro, if you're listening, some kind of updated Brain Masters would be amazing. We did get Masterpiece Star Saber. He's like the leader of the Brain Masters. He's amazing. So just put it out there. Maybe you could give us some kind of, uh, you know, Takara Tomi work their magic, one of their great repaints, remolds, uh, you know, Generation Selects. I'd be here for it, but I think the color schemes work. I like the, the the head designs, and they're mostly just stickers. It's just a sticker you slap over a piece of gray plastic, but I think it works. I really do. I especially like Laster. I think his head looks cool. I like all the stickers and everything. Um, and Blacker, I love the color scheme. He looks really good. I love the the color scheme for him, the design, the helmet. Just really, really cool all the way around, so... I love these. I'm happy to finally have some kind of representation of the Brain Masters, even if it's just candy toy. But they're great. Honestly, they're a lot of fun. The build was nice. The stickers look great. Really easy to apply, surprisingly. For the most part, every once in a while you have one or two that are difficult, but really nice. Really happy to add these to collection. But let's go ahead and check out Road Caesar. So the transformation is actually really simple. You're going to just put the arms down put the legs back and they don't peg into each other or anything but flip the heels in and then rotate the legs back around and that's it so <laughs> that is the big transformation for braver we're going to do the exact same thing for laster there we go now we're going to take these pieces from the extra pieces kit 
and we're going to peg this on right here and this is pretty much what the original toys did as well this is not a cheap model kit cop out this is what the original toys did they just had this kind of like leg facade so that it looks like a kneecap and a foot that you just pegged onto the side those are going to be your two feet put them there you're going to come to this guy you are going to take the arms and then flip them around now they always come unpegged you just have to make sure that they stay uh, you're going to flip out this wing piece so you're going to come back to here flip this around 180 and then flip out the wing piece unpeg these okay now you can see there are three holes the topmost one was for vehicle mode the bottommost one was for robot mode the middle one is for the combination so all three are utilized as long as i can actually get this to peg in there we go so we're going to unpeg this come on now there we go then we're going to re-peg it in the center one like so okay and he is pretty much ready to go so we're going to take these arm pieces make sure we have the thumb on the correct section and then that is going to peg into there so peg that right on little arm extender peg this right on boom we have this large chest piece you can see there are two pegs right here in the center two peg holes right there in the center of his chest so peg that on there pegs on very nicely these guys there's a little channel right here and the head is just going to kind of slide into that channel so do the same thing on the other side as you can see we're pretty much done we're going to take this gun piece we're going to flip these down or the thing will just fall off one or the other transforms the same way as the power masters basically there it's going to flip down this is going to flip around now this is going to be the head of road caesar and i kind of biffed the uh <laughs> the eyes there didn't really come out that great but to be fair the sticker wasn't that great and it didn't it's like the only problem with the only problem sticker i had the whole time but uh this is just going to slide over top of blacker's head so we just flip that on there like so and apparently this has decided to come unpegged so we just peg that back on not a big deal and then we're pretty much done just have to go ahead and give him the sword so there we go and then again we can rotate this at the arm so he's got the same articulation as before rotate here kind of move up and down a little bit um and then you have a little bit in the hips but that's really about it but i think he looks great the combination is really nice and uh, it's pretty solid i have to say so pretty impressed with that as well but overall i think they did a great job with road caesar like i said it really combines the same way the original toy did it's very similar um looks great i feel like they did an excellent job with the chest piece kind of perfectly covering the part of the middle robot that isn't like you don't want to see the chest and then the little tops of the legs so that makes it all look perfectly uniform uh the arm connectors work you have some guns here you have the sword which looks really good um just overall really solid job with the road caesar combination really very happy with it so i'm really impressed with how both of these turned out uh some of these model kits are as old as like 15 years old some are more recent but some of the oldest ones are from like the early 2000s and i gotta say they still hold up the stickers still attach very nicely they don't really peel knock on wood um they go together well the the builds are fun uh, the ingenuity really impresses me, especially with the smaller figure gimmicks like the Power Masters and the Brain Masters. The combination of Road Caesar in this case is great. I'm very happy to have this because, like I said, I've never had a representation of these characters before. So, very excited to finally get this. 
and uh, I recommend them. They're really not that expensive still on the aftermarket. I got all these from Mandarake. You could probably check Yahoo Japan auctions, um, really anywhere where you would think to find used or, or previously owned Japanese toys. Um, but these were still sealed, so I mean no one had touched them before me, and I just had to put them together and apply the stickers and really didn't take super long. I would say maybe like each box took me an hour or something like that, just taking my time with TV in the background. And uh, they're great. I really can't recommend them enough. I've really caught the bug for these things, and uh, I've been buying up a lot of them recently. So far I did the Fort Max. Uh, I did these two. I definitely have some other ones to put together, so you'll be seeing videos for those probably in the coming months as I can kind of work them in around other things. But I really love them. I think it's great. I can't believe I never thought to really look into like Transformer model kits before. As much as I love model kits and as much as I love Transformers, putting them together seems like a slam dunk. <laughs> Especially for some of these more obscure Japanese characters. Uh, it's really fun to get these representations because more often than not, they're very similarly designed. To the original toys which I don't really have a way of getting so that makes this really really fun so like I said if you can find them I highly recommend them uh, they're a great build great fun and great representations of the characters so let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share and subscribe hope you enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching